all right folks this is it moment of truth i'm gonna see if i can uh press these liners i got these from auto house az if anybody cares their part number should be on there they're mal they ship directly from mal uh as you can see from the box so i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can press these in All right, so I've been putting this off for a little while. Um, I kind of botched the beginning of the video. Uh, the first three liners went in just fine, but the fourth one, they're pretty forgiving of being cocked, and it makes some crazy like snap, crackle, and pop sounds. So I got really sloppy on the fourth one, and uh, it was at like 25 or 30 degrees, and it broke. I'll try to insert a picture here. I was filming on time lapse when I did it. Um, and then the other problem was that they only sent me four out of five anyway. So I broke one and they shorted me one. So I got a hold of them and they were pretty quick. They were like, at first they were like, these are sold out. And then they're like, Hey, we got some, we can have them drop shipped directly to you. You know, do you want two of them, you know, on us? And I said, sure. So thank you. Auto house AZ. I'm going to heave. I'm inside today cause it's pretty cold out now. Um, I'm going to heave the block up on the board there. The last one, which happens to be number one, because for whatever reason I started from the back forward. Uh, I'll film that one in its entirety so you can watch how they go in. They go in pretty straightforward and easy, though. It's really not a big deal with the press. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back. All right, this is the last one. Let me set you up there. Let's see, are you in frame? Um... All I do is squirt them with a little WD-40 ahead of time. I squirt the outside. It, they come, they have a heavy oil on them in the package. So I just squirt a little WD-40 on the inside and outside. I have to scoop this board around a bit to get it. Like I have the uh, injection pump and stuff in the way on this last one. So it's going to be a little trickier than the rest. I have to start with this quarter inch plate. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but this is not perfectly perpendicular to the deck surface. And I never get them perfect, but you gotta get them pretty close. I would say that that one's probably 10 degrees or so. Um, that is the part that kind of sucks about this. You gotta pump and pump and pump. Not a huge deal, but takes a little time. You'll figure out pretty quick if it's going to go in or not because it'll either straighten up or go drastically cockeyed in a hurry. See that one straightened right up and it found center right away. I don't know if you guys saw that in the video, but... Everything kind of wiggled around and worked itself out. Once that happens, you can pretty much go right on in with it. Of course, I'll have to reset this because there's not enough travel on the ram. 
course I have to reset it anyway because I'm going to run into the timing guide and stuff with this the way I have it. It's not a bad idea to probably stop and let the block and everything kind of work itself out as well. But I always have to stop and reset it. So once I restart, you'll hear everything kind of creaking and popping. So that's about as far as I can go with this plate. See how everything just walked around a little bit? I don't actually have to go all the way up. I did that so you guys can see. Um, what I'm using to go the rest of the way home is these press plates. They're actually meant to go like so you can press things on them, but I'm not using them like that. So the two of them with the two by four, and I'm actually off center a little bit now, but I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and run her home anyway. the camera over I'm gonna go ahead and move that a little bit it's a little far off even for my taste I'm pretty cavalier about this kind of stuff but so I mean you can see with the press, they just glide right in. I'm really glad I bought this. I'm really glad I didn't fuss around with trying to make cryogenic fluid and heat this block to 200 degrees and all that. The other sketchy part is when you get to the very bottom where you're pressing the step in, it's kind of hard to tell where to stop. Um, I was actually using a brick for a spacer in the first part of this video when it was all sunshiny and it exploded. I don't know if that shows in the time lapse or not, <laughs> but I got to the very bottom and actually started to build some pressure and that brick just poof. I can't see this stupid screen. Oh, screen's too little for me to see. set this a little bit before I hit my timing guide. I should have taken that out, but I don't really know why I have it, to tell you the truth. There, that should allow it to go the rest of the way down.
trying to keep this stuff off of like I'm trying to keep it off the next cylinder the next liner and there's a dowel in the front corner you probably can't see as well as the timing guide it's like a little dance I can honestly say though pressing the liners in was easier than taking the others out and taking the others out only took me like two hours in between fumbling with uh, wire that I ran out of and uh, gas etc etc so I'm at the very bottom now hey I'll pick you guys up so you can see I'm at the very bottom now and pushing that that last little bit home you can tell that the force is quite a bit more now um, and of course I don't want this thing to explode in my face so like it seems like it's all the way down now and see now it starts making noises and I can see some stuff popping up from elsewhere in the block and I'm gonna call that good All right, according to the timer on the camera, that took eight minutes. It probably will take less for you guys because I might go ahead and cut some of it out anyway. But I now have basically a brand new virgin block. According to the factory service manual, these are meant to be deck flush and not stand proud at all. Some people, some of the diesel mechanics told me that's called protrusion in the manuals. Uh, apparently this is not meant to have any and it has a fire ring in the head, so. I'm going to put this back on the stand for now. It'll probably go down to the uh, machine shop next week. I'll clean the rest. I got new pistons. I got new to me pistons from the junkyard. Um, so I'll select the best five number ones out of that. Take them and the balancer and everything down and uh, let the machine shop do their thing because I've gone Hollywood and I'm building the world's most expensive diesel. So not actually not at all like really in, in all things considered i'm building quite cheap a diesel so of course i won't make any kind of power either if i make if i make 150 to the tire it'd be outstanding anyway i hope you guys enjoyed that i hope if you're one of the people from the om617 group i hope this helps you out um it's not too hard to do and i really have about four hours into this block most with drinking beer and you know fiddling around with other stuff in between so if you can get a press or you have a press it, it just this 12 ton shop press i paid 65 dollars for this but even if i paid 140 i don't think i'd be mad at this point um like i just saved a ton of money over the machine shop even if you break one you save a ton of money over the machine shop so highly recommend it thanks guys for watching be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time on the driveway engineer